Let's figure out how many two-thirds cup measures are in one and one-half cups. So here's how we could do that. What we're asking is if we have one and one-half cups here, how many times does two-thirds go into one and one-half? So it's one and one-half divided by two-thirds, and that'll give us the answer. The problem is we have this mixed number here. So let's see if we can get this in the same format as our two-thirds here. So one times two is two, and two plus one is three. So we have three and we keep the two the same. So one and a half, it's the same value as three over two. They're both equal to 1.5. But now we have the same format here. And let's do this instead of division, let's multiply by the reciprocal of two thirds. So the two goes to the bottom, three goes to the top. So we have three as our numerator and two on the bottom as our denominator. And three over two, that's the reciprocal of two thirds. And now we just multiply. So it's kind of nice, we just say three times three, that's nine, two times two is four, and we end up with nine fourths. So there are nine fourths of these two third cup measures in one and a half cups. We could change this to a mixed number, it might be a little clearer. Four goes into nine two times, because two times four is eight, we have one left over, keep the four the same. So instead of nine fourths, we could say that this two thirds cup measure will have two and one fourth of these two thirds cup measures in one and one half cups. That's how I do it. This is Dr. B and thanks for watching.